Hi everyone, this is Cody from BridgeCom Systems, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to reinitialize your radio. So you, this will apply to the Anytone 868, 878, 878 Plus, and probably future radios, but that's what it applies to at this point in time. Now the reason you would want to do this is if something's gone wrong with your radio, you want to try and reset it. Uh, you want it just back to the factory settings. Uh, there could be a number of reasons why you would actually want to do this, but keep this in mind. If you do this procedure, it will wipe absolutely everything off of your radio. It'll be factory settings. You'll lose your code plug. Everything disappears off the radio. So if you, if you want to save your code plug, if you're having an issue with the radio, make sure to back it up beforehand. That way you can throw that same code plug back in it. But let's get on with the procedure. So first off, turn on your radio. Uh, make sure it is already initialized. In this case, this radio's been used before, so it is. So now we're going to turn it off. So here's the procedure. So you're going to hold down the push to talk button and the button directly below it. Now this is sometimes easier to do with these two fingers. Hold them down and then turn on the radio. And then once this message comes up, you can let go. Uh, so it's asking you, are you sure you want to initialize your radio? So click confirm. And now it's going to turn off and it has to reboot, go through a cycle. And there we are, the radio has been uh, initialized. So we can set this, confirm, and we're back into a fresh radio. Okay, so in the small chance that this did not work for you, some radios actually come shipped with this option to be able to reinitialize disabled, or maybe you've downloaded a code plug or just changed the setting along the way to disable this. So go ahead and open up your Anytone CPS and then uh, get your radio connected, plugged in and turned on. Go to the optional settings. Now first you want to read from your radio. Uh, just pull in the the latest data from it, just read the other data. That way you won't overwrite anything when we re-export this. Here we go, now go to the optional settings. Go to power on, and then right at the bottom here, it says startup reset. So you wanna make sure that is enabled. Now if this is turned off, it will not allow you to do the reinitialization process. So go ahead and turn that on, press okay. And then we're going to make sure we're connected, COM3, whatever port you have it plugged into. Then go ahead and click the Write to Radio button and just write that other data back to the radio and we'll be set. So there we go. That's it for now. Hopefully this takes care of any issue you've had. Uh, if you know anyone else who's having a problem with this, uh, share this video with them. Uh, be sure to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that notification bell beside the button there. And uh, we'll see you all in the next video. This is Cody from BridgeCom Systems 7-3.